This year as North Dakota Petroleum Council gathered at Watford City this week at the Rough Riders Center and some big time speakers were taking the podium. That includes Governor Doug Burgum and several leaders from the industry. KX News' Corbin Warnock tells us more about what they were talking about. Inflation was a theme of the meeting Wednesday and how it affects energy in the oil and gas industry. Some big topics include liquid fuels, carbon capture, inflation, and the Bakken. And it seems there are more negatives facing the industry than positives. Well, the biggest challenges the energy industry is facing uh, here in North Dakota and across the nation is the onslaught of, of uh, red tape executive orders from the Biden administration, where they basically have a full-on attack on, on all things related to liquid fuels. All Americans should be concerned about the, uh, the Biden uh, energy policy. It's a, it's a China first policy, frankly, and it is raising the prices of, of not only gasoline, but all, everything uh, from an inflationary standpoint is, is a derivative of oil and natural gas costs. So uh, there's no reason that we should be paying uh, this much and this much inflation, but it's a policy uh, from Washington that has to change. Berkham says we are paying more for gas, electricity, and heating in our own homes than we should, but there is some good news from the council. Berkham reminded everyone about the 2030 carbon neutral goal and gas capture is at 96% right now, which is an all-time high. And Berkham says Washington still has not figured out how to balance producing profitable energy. It's also safe for the environment. He says the feds can learn from North Dakota. Because we know in North Dakota you can have two things happen at the same time. You can protect the environment. You can, you can protect wildlife, and you can produce clean, safe, affordable U.S. energy. You can do those two things at the same time because we're America, and because the people that live in this county and that live in our nation care about the land, they care about the soil, they care about the soil health, they care about the air, because we live here. Bergen feels the Biden energy policies were written by China. Right now, the U.S. is subsidizing electric vehicle batteries produced in China, which Bergen says is the world's largest polluter. Some advice, he said, is selling to allies instead of buying from our adversaries. Experts from the council say inflation is just one problem, but it's not the only one. In North Dakota and in much of the energy industry, finding the people to work in this field is still a big task left unfinished. Say uh, re recruitment and training of qualified personnel in the field. Uh, this is a trend we've seen across the nation, but I believe the um, number one problem is getting people trained locally and from across the nation. Crude oil is over $90 a barrel today. The reason for prices being higher than they normally were the last few weeks were because of refinery challenges. But the overall message from the council was universal. To unleash American energy to its fullest potential, we need oil, gas, and coal to do it. Reporting for Cakes News, I'm Corbin Warnock. This year's North Dakota Petroleum Council will wrap up tomorrow at noon.